Welcome into Scoops with Danny Mac on Fox 2. I'm Dan McLaughlin. Tonight we're talking golf. And before you know it, the Ascension Charity Classic, presented by Emerson, will be coming to St. Louis to Norwood Hills Country Club. This will be the premier golf event in the country at that time. It'll be raising hundreds of thousands of dollars for charities in North County. This evening, my guests will include one of the best golfers that St. Louis has ever produced, and that's Jay Delsing. He grew up at Norwood, and he'll be participating in the tournament in September. Tom Lehman is a former world number one and won the 1996 Open Championship. And like Jay Delsing, he also is participating in the Ascension Charity Classic. The Ascension Charity Classic, September 9th through the 12th. As many of the top players in the world make their way to St. Louis and Norwood Hills, tickets and sponsorship opportunities are open and available. It should be an amazing and unique event coming to St. Louis. Let's bring in Nick Ragone from Ascension and the Ascension Charity Classic presented by Emerson, not too far away. And before I start with golf, Nick, uh, I want to commend you and your team at Ascension for everything you've done for so many. And I know you are so complimentary of your frontline workers and what they've done throughout the pandemic. I'm sure this year has just been unlike any other. What has it been like for all your people? Well, thank you, Danny, and thank you for asking that. And, you know, we're blessed. We have 160,000 associates and the most extraordinary caregivers. And I think we all, everybody in this country and around the world learned something this year, which is uh, caregivers, they might not wear capes, but they're truly heroes. They do heroic, selfless work. And I just feel like we're so blessed to have extraordinary caregivers who are, for the past year, have been taking care of people during this pandemic. And thankfully, there's light at the end of the tunnel for the pandemic uh, due to the vaccine. But I appreciate your asking that, Danny. Absolutely. Now let's start talking a little bit about golf. How excited are we about what we gonna, uh, what we're gonna see coming up later this summer here in St. Louis? I think we're ready for live sporting events and and having you know that first week of September having live professional golf back in St. Louis for the long term. You know this is a, a long term commitment. I think is so exciting. You know the the weather's changing. The Masters is coming up. People are excited. You know got, rounds of golf are way up this year because of COVID. In part, it's a chance to get outside, but. I could tell you that the co corporate and uh, community engagement has been extraordinary. We're so blessed to have Emerson as a presenting sponsor and Worldwide is a big founding partner. We're, we're about to announce some other corporate partners that are really stepping up. And we think this will be a wonderful shot in arm for the community and for the region uh, to have live sports again. And, and something that's really going to help North County. You know, all charities go to North County area, Boys and Girls Club, Mary Grove and the Urban League. And we're really, really excited about that. How important was it for you to be able to deliver those checks last year, despite the fact uh, that you didn't have a tournament, but yet were still able to deliver to those people that you promised checks to? No tournament, but yet deliver to those people and those most deserving people in North County. We're really proud of that distinction, and I'll tell you why. We, we were disappointed we had to cancel the event for good reasons, obviously, with COVID. But we, we wanted to keep that commitment, and thanks to, again, uh, the strong support of Emerson and Worldwide and others, we were still able to deliver 225000 to our three charities, Boys and Girls Club, Urban League, Mary Grove. And according to the PJ Tour, it's the only time in the history of the PJ Tour an event has delivered nearly a quarter million dollars to charity without playing a single shot in the history of the event. So while we were disappointed we weren't played, uh, we didn't play, uh, that's an amazing distinction, and I think it, it portends really good things in the future. If that's the way this tournament is going to give back to the community. I think we have something special on our hands. How has it been received so far by the golf community going into last year and now what you're looking forward to uh, coming up in September? The PJ Tour is really, really supportive and excited. They have said on numerous occasions that um, having a really successful charity classic is one of their main priorities for the year because St. Louis is one of the best markets, as we saw in 2018 at the PJ at Belle Reve. And the tour felt like this was the perfect opportunity to come back to St. Louis, to do it in North County, to give back. And so uh, we're going to we're going to have an amazing field that anybody's been watching the PGA Tour champion. Nick, we know that there are some major names that uh, are going to be a part of this event coming up in September. Uh, give our fans uh, an idea of just how big some of these names might be. We are going to have a stack field, probably one of the strongest of the year, Danny. Uh, last week, we announced Billy Andre, Tom Lehman, and uh, Hale Irwin are our brand ambassadors. Uh, this week, we just announced, you may have seen the news, um, somebody named Jack Nicholas and Tom Watson will also be playing in our Legends Challenge that Saturday. So 
uh, Mr. Nicholas, Mr. Watson have graciously agreed. They, they realize how important this event is to the PGA Tour and to St. Louis. So both of them, two of the greatest of all time, along with Hale and others. And then we'll have a stacked field. We expect, uh, you know, we have hopefully Phil Mickelson, Ernie Els, Jim Furyk, Mike Weir, Padraig Harrington, Freddie Couples, Bernard Lager. It'll be one of the strongest fields of the year, but we are blessed to have Jack and Tom Watson be headliners. What has been the response of the, and you mentioned this a little bit earlier, but corporate community and ticket sales, and how can people get involved right now? It's been overwhelming, and particularly given the fact that it's really about long-term investment in North County, catalyzing that charitable economic job creation development in North County. And so the, the corporate engagement, uh, the community engagement, the business engagement has been really uh, amazing. And I think it's, again, we want to build on this every year. We want it to go from good to great to even greater. We want it to be a premier event on PGA Tour champions. And we want it to be a, a, a week where we celebrate our region, in particular North County, but our entire region, uh, to remind the country what a special place St. Louis is. And, and Nick, I'll wrap it up with this. Uh, and it's so important to make sure and stress this again, the charitable component of what this is all about. You delivered last year. You're going to deliver again. Tell us about the charities that you're helping out once again this year. Yeah, we're, the whole model of this tournament is to give back to charity. That's Ascension's model. That's the PGA Tours model. And so we're really proud that um, all of the proceeds and that expenses are going to go to uh, we have three primary charities at this point, Urban League, Boys and Girls Club, and, and Mary Grove, which is an extraordinary uh, residential treatment center for teenagers in North County, and, and other charities, and we hope to name them over time. But we really want this to be an elite event uh, that, that is not only makes a difference for those three charities, but other charities in North County. And, you know, charities have struggled through COVID like everybody else, even more so. Uh, they rely on on, on the on the generosity and, and largesse of, of companies and individuals. And uh, those three charities and many others, uh, they've been doing amazing work during difficult times. And so even more than ever, it, there's a sense of urgency to making sure that this is an elite event that can give back. I, I, I told the team when we created this event, it's not about great golf, that's important, but it's about giving back. And I want, I want the goal of this event to be the single most charitable event on PGA Tour champions within a couple of years. And I think we're well on the way to doing that. It's amazing. Hey, Nick, thanks for everything that you do for our town. It's awesome. Thanks for doing this tonight. And we'll make sure and catch up before we get through this summer many, many times and promote this event. Thanks for doing this. Thank you, Danny, for being a supporter and go cards. You got it. That's Nick Ragone. Jay Delsing is coming up next. Scoops with Danny Mack is brought to you by Schnucks, Lou Fuse, Royal Banks of Missouri, and Ryan Kelly, the home loan expert. Announced this week, golf's greatest champion, Jack Nicklaus, and World Golf Hall of Famer Tom Watson will headline the inaugural Legends Luncheon for the Ascension Charity Classic presented by Emerson on Thursday, July 29th, a nine-hole exhibition and a Q&A with the attendees. Well, it's always great to be part of a new event. You know, we were supposed to be part of it last year, but it didn't work out. But uh, I'm, I, you know, I haven't played a lot of golf in St. Louis. I played there probably, I don't know, four or five tournaments. And uh, but uh, St. Louis is a great sports town. Always has been. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. And of course, we'll we'll raise some money for for charity and uh, uh, play a little bit of golf and and have, and have a good time. I use the phrase now, a lot of people have always wanted to play like I do, now they can. And <laughs> what that means is that uh, if, you can, if you can shoot about 80, that's about what I shoot now. I might break 80 if I play well, and I may not break 80 if I don't play very well, but I'm probably a solid six handicap now. And uh, you know, that's, uh, that's it. But I throw a, I throw an 82 mile an hour club head speed at it, and the ball ball feels like it's still got the head cover on. Uh, you know, not a lot of fun. It's uh, it's uh, I love playing the game, but gosh, I I hate hearing the ball land rather than seeing it land. Welcome back to the show on Fox Two. This is Scoops with Danny Mac, and let's bring in one of my all time favorites and one of the great golfers that has ever come out of the St. Louis area. He will be competing in the Ascension Charity Classic presented by Emerson, and that is Jay Delsing. Jay, it's great to see you. How are things going? 
Uh, hey, Danny, thanks for having me on. Um, a little bit better, you know, the weather's changing. We got to get out and hit the ball a little bit, but I, I'm so excited about this event. I, I really am. I think our world is slowly but surely coming back to some sort of normalcy, and we're going to get to hear you call some games really soon. So uh, I, I'm excited. You know, what I'm so excited about is that there's a local element to this tournament. And what I mean by that is that we have a local player or players that are going to be a part of this. Yourself, Jay Williamson. And what's so cool about that is that people may not know this, but you grew up at Norwood Hills. And that's where this tournament is at. And now you get a chance to compete in an event where money's on the line. There's a lot on the line there. What does that mean to you? Oh, my gosh, Danny. I, I can't explain to you how how cool this is for the the oh my gosh I probably probably over a thousand events on the tour and the different tours and to get one this is a true home game you know we golfers don't really have that many home games and this is really going to be special. There's no place on that golf course, both good and bad, that I haven't been. You know, so um, Pearlie's going to be caddying for me. He does a show with me and went to school at UCLA and. Jay Williamson, I know, is really excited about this. And, and Danny, we couldn't have a better group of people. I know you're as a, an ambassador as I am with for Ascension. These guys are just incredible in what they're doing for the city and golf and the North County. It's nothing. There's nothing like it, but that's going to be on the Champions Tour. This is really going to be special. How about it being at Norwood Hills? I want to go back to that aspect and how this sets up for a championship event and a pro event. How do you think the course will set up? Oh, beautifully. Danny, Norwood Hills West course is a, a complete hidden gem in the city. It's, um, it's as good as any course in town. It'll be in impeccable condition. I think what's so cool about this event, too, and whether you're the casual golf fan or you're, you're the diehard, uh, here in St. Louis, coming off the, the, the Bell Reeve Championship and on the heels of what was just a remarkable tournament, I think the appetite for golf more so now is at an all-time high because of what we experienced at Bell Reeve. So people are really chomping at the bit to see this thing happen. Danny, no question about it. I mean, Bell Reeve was, is there such thing as a five-run home run? Bell Reeve, the St. Louis, the, the fans, the corporate citizens hit it out of the park. It was a storybook ending with Tiger almost winning, but basically, you know, marking his comeback for the PGA Tour. Brooks, Brooks Kepka was a hell of a champion as well, and it was it's perfect timing. And being from North County, Jay, you are from North County. Uh, what does that mean to to go back to North County and play there? I, I keep sounding like a broken record, Danny, but it checks every single box I could possibly check. If there was some way my parents could still be alive to watch this, it would be absolutely perfect. But that's not gonna, that's not gonna happen. But everything else, the, the, you know, I've been, I started toting bags there at 12 years old, 1960, 1973. But it's just fantastic. And the, the people, the members, just the, the relationship that I have with Nord, it's going to be so emotional, Danny. I, I'm gonna be, I'm fired up now and we're, we're, you know, so so many months away. It's it's going to be terrific for me. I don't know how it could be better. What are you most looking forward to about this tournament? What do you think fans should look forward to most about this tournament? Well, I'm a huge proponent of the game and growing the game, and this is first and foremost going to help grow the game. It's also going to do just a, a, a boatload of good for the North County area, which we both know really, really needs it. What are you trying to do to get ready for this? And what are you, what's your personal goal, you know, over the course of this tournament? What are you trying to do? I mean, obviously you want to win it if you No could. question. There's no doubt. I, 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 never I never turned up at one event, Danny, that I didn't want or think I could win. And I still think I could win that. And that's probably why I'm so excited. Now, the reality of it is I haven't played. I just had a new knee put in in uh, October. So I'm rehabbing that. But you know, I'm going to go out and do my absolute best, and I'm just dying to get in the mix. I want to be in the mix. I don't know what that's going to look like. I, I hope from the very beginning that I can start playing well and, and you know, challenge for this thing. And finally, what do you think those emotions will be like as a kid that was, as you said, toting bags around Norwood and then teeing one up at with something on the line and knowing that you were a part of helping bring this uh, tournament to St. Louis and to North County and understanding uh, the charitable component of it. What do you think those emotions will be like for you? 
Oh boy, I'm already trying to trying to control those because I'll, it'll be out of control. I mean, I'll just have a wash. I'll see someone. It'll remind me of my dad. It'll remind me of some of the things that I did, some trees that I hit, you know, some shots that I tried to pull off as a kid. Um, yeah, it'll it'll the, the entire thing between the first tee and then coming up to the 18th green. You know, I'm really hoping that I can walk the 54 holes. I haven't been able to do that in a long time. I hope I'll be able to walk. It's just a better experience. But walking up to the 18th green would be, is, is going to be really special no, no matter where I finish. Great catching up, Jay. Looking forward to the event. I'm sure we're going to do this again before we officially tee it off late this summer. And uh, awesome to see you. And thanks for doing this. Oh, Danny, anytime. Thanks for having me on the show. Love it. You got it. That's Jay Delsing. Tom Lehman is coming up next. Scoops with Danny Mac is brought to you by Blue Tail Medical Group, Royal Banks of Missouri, Hair Saloon for Men, and Triad Bank. One of the great golfers of his era, he's competing on the Champions Tour. We're going to see the Champions Tour come through St. Louis with the Ascension Charity Classic, and that's Tom Lehman. Hey, Tom, great to uh, catch up with you. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing very well, and it's, uh, I'm looking forward to being in St. Louis. Uh, so excited that Extension is uh, taking the bull by the horns and title sponsoring this event and making it a big community thing. So uh, very excited to be a part of it. We all saw in St. Louis what golf can do for the community uh, with what happened at Belle Reve. What do you anticipate with the Champions Tour and what this is going to be like for golf fans here in St. Louis? Well, I think we're a very fortunate uh, uh Number one, the Champions Tour has a great uh, uh, has, has, has a lot of really great things to offer. I mean, the field will be fantastic. A whole bunch of names that are household names for every golfer in, in the area. Uh, there really is no other professional golf in the St. Louis area. So you know, anytime you, you stop in a city like that, where there isn't an annual event, uh, you get big crowds, big support. And typically, as you know, the big support leads to big, big dollars for uh, the local charities and for the uh, hospital. So it's, uh, you know, I think overall it's going to be a great week of golf, but a fantastic benefit to the community. A lot of golf fans have been asking me, what's the difference with the Champions Tour as opposed to what you see on the PGA Tour? You're a former major winner. You've won on tour. Now you're competing on the Champions Tour. What do you see as being the major differences from the fans' perspective and what they can expect? About 50 or 60 yards off the tee. <laughs> That's the biggest difference. The the young guys hit it so far. Um, it's it's really quite extraordinary where they drive the golf ball. And not just that. I mean, they're irons. You know, they're hitting wedges. I think I saw DeChambeau hit a sand wedge 190 yards last week. Um, you know, you don't <laughs> see you don't see that on the on the Champions Tour. But what you will see is uh, is extremely high quality of golf. Uh, guys who hit the ball great, who putt well, chip well. Uh, almost everybody who watches Champions Tour golf, all they all come away remarking about how good the players still are. In terms of the interaction, players with the fans, vice versa, it can be different. Uh, certainly when Tiger was on tour and you're seeing the throngs of people that follow the various groupings, what is it like on the Champions Tour of following your favorite golfer and, and the interaction between the golfer and the fans? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a unique um, atmosphere. Uh, on the one hand, more relaxed, more welcoming, more friendly. Uh, you know, more, I would say more fan friendly. I mean, you're going to get the players with, interacting with the fans a, a great deal. So it's a little more laid back that way, but, but you can't be, um, you know, you don't want to be fooled. I mean, the, the competitive juices still flow. So you're going to see a combination of a little more relaxed attitude, a little more friendly attitude combined with a, a lot of competitive fire. And I'll wrap it up with this. Uh, you're tied in with Ascension, Ascension Charity Classic presented by Emerson. Uh, obviously with all of us going through everything this last year with COVID-19 and to see that they're giving back money. They did it even last year without even a tournament. What does that mean to you and the other players to be a part of something that is always doing something positive, giving back in the community and, and certainly with the medical field associated with Ascension? I think one of the things that I'm most proud of about being a part of the PGA Tour and now the Champions Tour is that charitable, charitable component. The amount of money that the PGA Tour has helped to raise through events, you know, you know, partnering with title sponsors and television, everybody is, uh, well, the money that we raise is more than all the other professional sports combined. 
uh, you know, so I think that is something we're all extremely proud of. Uh, they think title sponsors have a huge civic uh, awareness and, and take that responsibility very seriously. So uh, when you have an event come to town and, you know, the title sponsor understands the, the significance of it to, to the local charities and now especially with the hospital and the, the, the need for, you know, medical care so prevalent across the country. I think everybody understands the huge, huge commitment being made by Ascension and, and what they've done in the past and what will happen in the future because of their commitment to the golf tournament. So the this golf is a, is a great vehicle for making huge progress in communities. Tom, it's always been a pleasure to watch you play golf. Can't wait to watch you coming up late this summer here in St. Louis out in Norwood Hills, and uh, thank you for your time. Yeah, great being with you, and look forward to it. Appreciate it. Many thanks to Tom Lehman, Jay Delsing, and Nick Ragone from the Ascension Charity Classic, presented by Emerson. Remember, Scoops with Danny Mac can be seen every Sunday, 1030, here on Fox 2. And we'll see you next weekend.